YouTube, my name's Lance and welcome to Bundy Bear's Shed. Well today we're starting a series on doing up the John Deere power steering column. Now this power steering column it's used in the um, the utility tractors um, such as a 2030, um, 1640, 2040, 2140. It's a power steering column where all the power steering work happens and it's not hydrostatic steering, as in a, a Danfoss steering motor with hoses coming out, which was an option on the 40 and 50 series. But they still use this column in the 3130s, the bigger tractor, and right up in the 2650s and things like that. So it's, it's used over a lot of John Deere models. The first part of the clip will be taking this steering column off the John Deere 1640 we have outside. It's an old parts tractor, we, we may get it going one day but we use it for, we pinch things off it and put them back and things like that so um, the first part of the video is getting, or well, part one will be getting the, um, the steering column off the tractor just um, what to look out for, just, just a few little tips. Um, most of my jobs or, or my how to's uh, not with special tools if we can help it. Um, knowing that a lot of people don't have them available. So, um, you know, the, the average bloke, he may not have a spanner for this. And I don't have a spanner for that. I sold it with my business. But, but um, we try and do it with uh, easy tools and things like that. Um, an example would be this. Um, you see that there? Yeah. This little O-ring pick. And look, that's a 2.5 mil welding rod, it's a nickel rod, and you grind a point on it, knock the flux off it, and put a right angle end on it. That's a particular, particularly handy tool, as down in the column here, there's six O-rings that we need to get way, way in there to get out. So, um, there's a few little bits and pieces like that that will help, but we will try and do it with... Um, with just standard hand tools. Um, some of the tools I had for this, um, specialty tools, I, I sold a workshop and they went with that and I haven't had cause to make them yet, but um, we, we may well do. But, but stay tuned, we'll run through this steering column, um, just put a steering seal kit through it and we'll go from there. We'll, we'll try and take it step by step and the idea of the videos is that if you have this tractor at home and you'd like to have a go yourself, well it'll give you the confidence to buy a kit and have a go. It's, it's something that you could reasonably do with a little bit of mechanical aptitude. You, you don't have to be the best mechanic on the road or down the street, it's just um, most of it's very simple and once you're shown you may have a go and you may feel confident. So, so that's what it's all about. So stay tuned, we'll slowly work through this. Um, I, may, I may do it in a couple of videos, like I, the one where I pulled it off the tractor will be one and probably pulling it apart will be one and putting it together will be a video and um, things like that and, and I always drop stuff so it's a poor video if I don't drop anything and, um, so <laughs> I usually drop a few things but anyway, stay tuned and we'll see if we can get a bit of an interesting video happening This is a an old John Deere 1640 that we're going to stake the steering column out and do it up and we're just going to run through how you get the steering column out for those who would like to have a go at their own. There'll be a later video on how to um, overhaul the steering column. But for the moment, we're just going to show you how to take it out. So on a 1640, this side comes up. And there's a little lever there to help support it. So we've done that. The, I always have a piece of rag ready and the, pro, the process we need to go through is undo this plate here that supports the pitman arm where it goes across and we have to take these little clips off out of the way I always just take this main throttle pivot that's your foot throttle pivot take it out of the way there's four bolts 
down the bottom here. There's one bolt halfway up the column there, each side, and then we'll focus on down in here. So for the moment, we'll just um, start it off by pulling this plate off and showing you what's in there. We're getting out here early in the day, it's going to be a very hot one, so... a bit shorter with my spinner. I'm trying to stay out of the frame a little bit so well we've got this plate loose now and it should just slide out I should have really taken these little clips off instead of trying to take a shortcut. Sometimes shortcuts end up long cuts, don't they? And that lets us pull this housing out. Now this housing has a support bush in here and that support bush supports the main shaft going through to the other side. Now on a 40 series tractor at this point put a piece of rag in the hole. And push it right up the back And there's a reason for doing that. Um, now we've undone the screw, we've taken this tab washer off, and the tab washer holds the pin in. And then you can reach in with a pair of pointy pliers or something like that and take the pin out. Now, this little tab washer sits on the pin like that and that keeps the pin from coming out. This is also the reason that you put the rag in here. When you undo the washer or the bolt and this lock tab, it is very, very easy to drop that down the bottom. It will go down the hole here, sits on top of your high low, and you may get it off with a magnet, but most of the time it wants to slide off to the side. Um, so a piece of rag is good insurance. So now, now the steering shaft, the main steering column, and the pitman arm are no longer connected at all. We also, that's all we have to do in that hole at the moment, we also have to undo this steering pressure line, which I don't think I mentioned before. So we'll grab a spanner and do that. I think it's 11 16th. Right, our next thing is to take these four bolts out around the bottom. I've undone the three here and we still need to undo this one here I've loosened that up just to make it a bit easier with the filming also <laughs> also <coughs> make sure there's no wasps nests hidden up there in the wiring or you'll end up with a sore wrist don't ask me how or no <laughs> Bloody thing. Try and work over the over the camera here. Just 
bumping the microphone there, I'm sorry. Okay, so all the bolts are out. That column should be quite loose there now. And when you do yours, make sure you clean all the junk around here like I haven't done. Um, being an old tractor, I haven't worried too much about it. Um, we're going to go right through this old... If we continue with this old girl, we're going to go right through it. So, we'll bring that down out of the way. And there's our steering column. We'll go around the back. They're quite heavy. And there's the column. There's the dog bone, we call it. And we'll just... Try and cover everything up. So there you go, that's just a quick clip on how to remove the power steering unit. We'll, um, we'll be doing a series on overhauling this, so this will just be the end of part one, um, how to get it out of the machine.